Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. You think you can have reason with a wildling? No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Damit herzlich willkommen, meine Freunde, zu Game of Thrones, the Telltale Series. I was just series. telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me. Or maybe your mother. Her flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. You killed our brother! I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> there. Oh, doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? <laughs> I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Now should I know? Griff and his men are not my concern. My concerns are your concerns. I assume you forgot that when you took them prisoner. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. 
If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Arthur's done nothing wrong! If you want to hurt someone, hurt me! No, Roderick! Why bother? You're nearly a corpse already. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done! I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please, stop! <laughs> please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Talia, don't look! Please. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. Poor lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a hold fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. House Forester will win this fight. You're very confident for a man with no army and half a face. And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. Oh, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. Folge 5. Söhne des Winters. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Tja, langsam Zeit, dass die Gruppe für was bezahlt. Hm. 
mother. I'm so sorry. I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. By the gods, I miss the Starks. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south, Lud makes a show of being strong, but he's no better off than us. Not if the Boltons refuse Where is to... he? Where is oh, my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No, Arthur, no. Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. You can't blame yourself, Elena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. And now, to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this, he's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies, Elena. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, baby. Let's get you someplace warm. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. <sighs> oh, cook on. Ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira. I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk. Defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros. In front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course. And she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at High Garden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I 
just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Garibald, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family? They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. To go before she sees me. She already You're a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Ja, jetzt schon wieder los. Oh nein! Come on, Beska, listen. How can you still be angry at me? Is that a joke? I had Dezozaraza in my hand and you made me let him go. You know why? <sighs> yeah, you were afraid of disobeying the pretty little queen. You chose your prize over my one chance of revenge. And for what? There's no way this Dragon Queen comes through. Enough! Your revenge would have cost me everything. It'd be worth it to see him dead. Oh, and you'd explain that to my family's corpses. <sighs> we should never have come here. This city... It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. But you denied me that. I... Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asha, you're back. <laughs> Uncle, let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asha Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. And for that, I am grateful. I hear you know how to follow orders, despite your friend's efforts to make you stray. You told me Asher was a man of integrity, Malcolm. Now I know you were telling the truth. You have proved yourself an honorable warrior. You have my gratitude. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. This is why you denied me my revenge? What did I tell you? You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. In truth, we are not so different. We're both far from home. We've both suffered the loss of those we've loved. And we both struggle to do what's right. You said something about not leaving empty-handed? Don't make me change my mind. <sighs> I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. 
The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. Vielleicht können wir Soldaten kaufen. Wäre eine Möglichkeit. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. <coughs> plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. Ja, doch das Bündnis ist schon okay. Die hat seriously consider staying in Essos. I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. Das könnte nützlich sein. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going North. We're going South, to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a direwolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and, well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter, and when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No. We don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and 
more wildies. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. First I find out you're a wildling. Now you've got a sister. What else are you hiding? Nothing. I swear. <coughs> I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it'd turn out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. I wonder why she doesn't wear it. I wonder if she's ever seen an ice spider. Whew. Hope not. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Nein, ich trinke das nicht. Ich weiß nicht, was da drin ist. Außerdem wir das Diebstahl. Und am Ende kriege ich wieder Stress mit der. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Mind if I give it a shot? Go ahead. You know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So you're shit then. I 
think you need more training. Ja, ich dachte, ich schieße mit einem Klick. Come on. Fuck you, ey. Was ist denn das für eine Scheiße? Are you nervous? Maybe next time, Garrett. Well, since we don't have any food. Well, what's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. Da ist bescheuert. Die ganze Zeit hat das mit dem Schießen anders funktioniert. Who lost anyone, Garrett? So, die wollten, dass ich das nicht schaffe. Someone you really cared about. Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Ich konnte übrigens die Maus nicht bewegen nach links oder rechts. Es ging nicht. Like. I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I. We lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Garrett! Help! Cut oh, off! What the fuck? Look out! Oh, fuck. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the Masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what? What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Asha. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. 
or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. <sighs> if they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what... Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa! want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. My name is Asha Forrester, and I've traveled all the way from Westeros. I'd suggest you go back there. It's not safe here for outsiders. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. Enough! I didn't come to hear you bickering. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need fearless soldiers to crush them! You think we're cell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? I'll make you all rich! Your masters, they used you. They made gold from your blood. But I am offering you a chance to earn for yourselves. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. How about the belly here? Yeah. 
you might wish so. His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look, then. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Oh, God. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe? Your pretty blonde beard. I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of whores. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. You all see this cockless Westerose? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did! I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win! The best would be me! Here, use this! Oh my god. You won't be so lucky this time. Hate to tell you, but that wasn't luck. Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt. Yours will be a beautiful death. Isn't that something you'd like to say? <laughs> Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting. I think I can, actually. <laughs> For that, you die slow. Last chance! Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy.
Kick the little man! Do it! Do it! Let him go! You're stupid, Jim! Your stupid rules! Your old champion is gone, as are your old masters. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors, warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and it won't just be for sport. You'll fight for a higher purpose. To save innocents and murder the guilty. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you. Ich war schon knackig gerade.